Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a GUI notepad using Python. So first of all, let's see that what is the final output that you can expect from this video. So let me open the PowerShell here just a second. Let me open the PowerShell and write Python 1.py. And there you can see this is our notepad okay so you can write on this notepad whatever you want and then we have three options here first is you want to save this into a text a py file or any of the file format by using this save file format or you can clear this screen by using this clear option or you can load another file using this load file okay so let me first show you that how these things work first of all we'll start off with the clear one so here you can see the screen is cleared so let's write hello python and on the next right we are writing something else and on the next line we are writing something else okay so let's save this into let's say uh, two dot uh, txt okay let's save this and here you can see this is our two dot txt if we open this we are having the same data okay the same data in our 2.txt let's say that we want to load the same data on this notepad okay so let's clear this and then we are loading so let's load this new text open this file and here you can see this is the data which is stored in our new text document file okay so this is the project that we'll be creating and for this project, you do not need any external package. The package that we'll be using is Kinter and Kinter comes pre-installed with any distribution of Python, whether vanilla Python or Anaconda. Okay, so let's quickly jump to our editor so that we can start writing our code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So the first thing that we'll do is import the required library which is kinter we need to import some modules of kinter so let's import them okay so now let's create a root variable which will store the tk instance or our gui instance now let's define that what will be the geometry if you are a regular viewer of my channel you must be familiar with these commands geometry okay because I have worked on lot of GUI projects and Kinter is the GUI that I use. Okay, so let's say the size is 500 into 600, which is 600 is the height and 500 is the width. Now, in this GUI, we'll be having four components, three of the buttons for saving the file, clearing the field, loading the file, and fourth will be our text field where we'll write our text okay so first let me write the commands then i'll explain you that what each line of command is doing okay okay so now here you can see we have created our first button now b1 is equal to button this is the keyword to create the kinter buttons the first parameter is the root or the gui instance the Second parameter is the text that will be present on our uh, button. The third parameter is the function or the task that this button will initiate. Now, there are a few parameters more present for this button widget like the width, the height, the color, many things are there. I'll provide the link to the documentation of Kinter where you can find all these parameters. Okay, then we are placing our button into our GUI at the X axis 10 and the Y axis 10. Now assume our Kinter GUI as a matrix of X and Y and this button will be present at X is equal to 10 units and Y is equal to 10 units just at the top. Okay, now let's do the same for remaining two buttons. okay so now we are done let me close the main loop so that we can see that how our gui is looking so root dot uh, main loop let's close this and let's run our program and and we are having some error just a second 
I think some spelling mistakes must be there. Uh, file save is not defined. Okay, so we haven't created the function. This is why the error is popping up. Let me first create these functions of save file, clear and open file. Okay, so let's run our program. And here you can see these are our buttons. Now I'm pretty sure that you can work on and create a more beautiful GUI. But in this video, we'll be focusing more on the functionalities of this of these buttons rather than the designing and the beauty of these buttons. Okay, so there you can see these are proper buttons, but they are doing nothing because the function is empty. Okay, so let's populate the function and we'll start off with the first button which is open file okay so what we'll be using is we'll be using this file dialog module here so let me clear this one and let's create a file variable and this will say file dialog dot ask open file okay so this is asking to open a file pretty much simple and straight to the point function name now let's see the parameters the first parameter is the mode okay so what will be the mode of opening the files so we only want to read the files so we'll write r here the second parameter is the file type this will accept the extensions of the file that we want to see let's say that we have this folder and in this folder we have the txt files and in our notepad we want only txt files to be shown so we'll write the extension as txt if you want like in python ide only python files are uh, shown right so we can add only the extensions of python file if you don't want any extension you can leave this okay so here you can see that this is a dictionary inside a list okay so first thing is the name which will appear on the side and second is the parameter don't worry if you're not able to understand that what these two parameters are because i'll just show you in a bit that what these two variables are okay now what we'll do is we'll check whether user hasn't closed this prompt or this uh, gui asking for the file name right so we are saying if uh, file is not none so the user has selected any file and the entry is not empty we are creating a variable uh, called content and then storing the value inside this variable content so file dot read we are simply reading and then for now let's print and see that whether we are able to extract the content or not okay so let's save this and let me check whether everything is is all right or not oh, okay so let's run this and there you can see okay so our entry is missing okay so i missed the entry widget here so first of all let me create the entry widget because where will we write our text okay so let me run this and let me show you that how our entry widget is and okay so you can see that this is our text widget perfectly aligned having some spaces on each corner so first let me explain you each parameter here so we are writing this text keyword to create a text box the first parameter is a root the gui instance the second parameter is the height of the text box the third parameter is the width of the text box and the fourth parameter is the wrap let's say that you are writing just let me close all of them okay so let's say we are writing something okay we are writing something and at the end of this uh, box space we are writing a sentence sorry we are writing a word and the length of the word is greater than the space provided so what will happen is if we don't define this wrap parameter here the half sentence will be written here and half sentence will be written here so we don't want that this is why we are writing the wrap uh, parameter here so that the whole word is shifted to the next line okay then the last thing is we are placing our text 
box into our uh, GUI at the X axis 10 and at the Y axis 15. Okay, now you must be wondering that why are these weird values like 33 and 58 for the height and width. Now I have experimented with these uh, values to get the best size of my text box. Now you can also experiment with these values by changing the height and width of the GUI or changing the height and width of the text box. Okay, so so let's check that whether our um, first let me close all of them so that we are not having any previous one. Okay, so let's run this and see whether our open file function is perfectly working or not. Okay, so let's okay. So we are having an error which was pretty obvious. Okay, so we are having an error text. Okay, okay, so actually these are not dictionaries inside. My bad. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's open a file. And there you can see, okay, so it is working. Let's select a text file, open this, and there you can see that the data is displayed on our terminal. Okay, so we are able to extract the data using our Python program. Now let's display the same data into our text box. So there is nothing special to do. What we'll simply do is after this if uh, condition is executed we'll write entry just a second we'll write entry dot uh, insert and then inside the first uh, first parameter will be insert and the second parameter is the content that will be uh, inserted or displayed into that text box so we'll write this let's run our program again open a text file it's taking a bit of time okay so let's run this okay so we are having an error insert is not defined uh, okay so this all should be capital <laughs> my bad once again insert and these things happen because i live code in my video <laughs> okay so let's open the text file and there you can see the data is displayed on our text box okay so this entry box or this text box offers a lot of parameters inside okay so i'm not gonna discuss them because you know i spend most of the time on providing the concept rather than designing and making the program look good i'll provide the link to the documentation of this you can check from there okay now let's work on the clear field how you can clear your uh, text box actually this will be very simple you just need to write entry this should be small entry dot delete and we'll delete from the first word from the first uh, indexing to the very end so we'll write from the first to the very end okay so let's run our program and let's write something let's write something let's write something and let's press this clear button and okay this is working perfectly so now let's work on the final function which is how we can save the data which is present on our text box into a file okay so let's create an open file variable so open file then we'll write file dialog ask save as a file okay then we'll write the first parameter which is the mode so now when we were reading the file, we were writing the mode R. Here we are writing the file, so we will use the mode W. Okay, so pretty understandable. Now let's also define a default parameter or default uh, extension. So we will write default text. Actually, this should be small. So text, actually it won't be text, it would be extension. Okay, so default extension and the default extension is .txt, let's say, okay, so .txt, okay, so let's save this and let's move on to the next part, okay, so once again, we'll check if the open file is none or not, open file uh, is uh, none, then we'll simply return if the user opt for closing, so we'll, uh, we'll simply return, okay, 
then our first task is to extract the data which is present in this text box so we'll create a text uh, variable and then we want this all to be a string then we'll simply write entry dot get and we are extracting from the very first to the very end okay now the second task will be writing on the open file so we'll simply write open file dot write and the uh, data that we'll be writing is this text variable having all the data which is present in this text box okay then we'll simply close our file and there should be a dot here close and let's save this and see whether it's working or not okay so let's try it. uh hello world whatever it is okay so let's save this and let's say test test dot uh, txt okay let's save this and we are getting an error because end is not defined again the same mistake it should be all capital okay so actually the text txt will be created so let's delete that and it can't get deleted because it is open in python okay so let's close this and let's now try to delete it okay so now let's uh, make the change okay so we have capitalized it let's save this and run our program again and let's write something on our uh, notepad let's add some lines also so that we can see whether it's working perfectly or not some numbers uh, some special characters okay so let's save this okay so i have to pause the video because there was power cut in my area and the phone on which i was recording the audio was connected to the charger okay so here you can see the code is the same let me run this again and okay so let's write something on the next line on the next line with the numbers and the special characters uh, let's save this this was a short video in which i have tried to explain you that how you can create a notepad using python so this was a very basic program now there you can see this is a very basic program even the simplest uh, notepad is even having more functionalities like the change of font or the change of uh, color of the text or the background so the assignment for this video is to create a more beautiful looking gui having like many colors and having many fonts okay so do not forget to comment down below if you have created a more advanced notepad because i also want to take a look that what my viewers are capable of okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye